Hey folks, I'm taking you for a walkthrough of the Maximus 3 hiking tent from Explore Planet Earth. It's affordable, sturdy, and easy to pitch. Let's check it out. Hit it. G'day folks, it's Ben from Snowy's here today. We're at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park with the Explore Planet Earth Maximus 3 hiking tent. It is a really affordable yet sturdy and weatherproof tent for those who are looking to get out on an adventure without breaking the bank. I'm gonna take you for a walk through today of all the features. Now, when you buy it, it weighs about 3.4 kilos with everything included. You could probably strip maybe about 200 grams out of that, depending on how you wanna set it up to about 3.2 minimum weight. And it packs up to about 55 centimeters in length and around 17 to 20 centimeters in diameter, depending on how tightly you roll it up. Starting with the fabrics that it's made of, now the fly sheet here is a 190 thread count polyester. There's a 4,000 millimeter water head on this fabric here, so it's nice and durable and it's seam sealed throughout. Working our way down the tent, the inner is also a, a polyester. This is 150 denier polyester with a 4,000 millimeter water head too, same as the floor. And above that is a nice high density mesh. It's not a no seam mesh, uh, may or may not be midge proof. Not many meshes are, but it is nice and fine. And the poles themselves, we can't quite see them here, but these are a 9.5 millimeter alloy frame and it's an all in one frame. So it's all integrated all together. Before we jump inside, I just want to take a bit of a walk around the outside and show you the features out there. So there's an entrance on each side. So this entrance that you see here is mirrored on the other side. So we've got this vestibule here. This comes about 70 centimeters out from the edge of the tent to this point here. I've got this side of the door rolled up here. So we've got half undercover, half access. We can also roll this side up as well. There's another tab that features on this side so we can completely open it up or we zip it closed completely. There's a zip and a storm flap down here to create a weather protected vestibule for storage. Same thing features on the opposite side of the tent. Coming around to the end here, the only feature um, to show here is this vent. Once again, this is mirrored at the other end of the tent. There's a little kickstand under here so we can open this vent up to allow ventilation through the tent. Now there's not actually any mesh that features in this vent here. It's just open up underneath there but we can seal it right closed like that to keep the weather out or open for ventilation. Above that is a little point that we can attach a guy which comes included with the kit. I haven't got them included with us today. If we were to use the garbs on each end and the pegs for each vestibule, we could probably get away with just using four pegs for setup of this tent here. Then on the other side, we can see we've got the other vestibule that I talked about before. That one's completely zipped closed. That's pretty much all the features on the outside of the tent. I wanna jump on the inside and show you everything in there now. So I've just come in through a single door here. It's got a mesh panel on the top, solid panel down the bottom. So this height of solid material features all the way around the tent here. Once these doors are zipped open, there's a little pocket that features just in here that we can stuff the door into to keep it up or keep it out of the way. As we come inside the tent here, I've got a couple of just standard uh, hike mats just in here. They're all deflated at the moment, but it gives you an idea of the space. So lengthwise, we've got about 205 centimetres of length and about 170 centimetres in width. So you can see you could quite easily fit a third hike mat here. And for myself being 185 centimetres laying down, I've got a good amount of space, a little bit of room for my sleeping bag with my feet at the end there. So yeah, it, it caters for reasonably tall people. In terms of height, plenty of room to sit up in the middle here, 110 centimetres at the peak. And I can sit up right over at all sides of the tent because of the pole structure. It creates very vertical walls all around. We'll have a look at the other features inside. Starting at the top, we can see we've got this lighting system. We're gonna jump back to that shortly and show you how that works. But that also doubles as a bit of a gear loft here so we can store our necessities up at roof height here so we don't lose them during the night. We can see there's mesh all around the sides and it's mirrored on both sides. So as we come down here, you can see we've got um, the, the panel or the, the vent on the outside there that we've got a zip which allows us to access this from inside. So I can actually open this vent up from inside the tent here, put that kickstand in place to give me some ventilation there. Below that on each end, a little mesh storage pocket to keep our necessities once again up at hand to double up with that gear loft. And that's pretty much all the features on the other side here. We've got another door and another storage pocket with another storage vestibule out the other side here as well. Now I just wanna show you the lighting system that comes with your tent. Now this gear loft can actually be removed. It's just attached by plastic clips on the sides here. So if you are looking to save weight in your kit, you could strip this out altogether. 
If you leave it in though, then you've got an integrated lighting system that you're not gonna uh, lose track of or you know misplace. The lights actually feature in the strip around the edge of this here, and it's powered by this battery pack that's got its own little pocket up here. Now the pack that comes with it is, is empty at the moment. It's powered, it um, plugs in via a USB here, and this just takes four AAA batteries. But being a USB plug means we can use a power bank as well if we like to power this up. So I'm actually gonna plug this into the power bank here, power that up, and you can see as soon as I power that up, these lights turn on around the edge here. They're just little strip lights that feature all around. There's a little switch here that we can use to turn them on and off. It's only got one setting, so I'll push this, it turns off. If I push it again, it turns back on again. It's not gonna give a lot of light, but it's gonna give a bit of ambient light at night so that you can um, turn it on just to find your way around the tent without blinding everyone, and also gives you hands-free lighting. So that's all the features of the Explore Planet Earth at Maximus 3 hiking tent. It's a true three-person hiking tent with a configuration that allows three people to sit up in here upright. You can have board games in here quite comfortably. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all of our latest information or check out some of our other videos like this one down here.